in, in short, I am inclined to go public with this because of this whole pedophile business has been really suppressed by the media. I know people that have done good investigations, been part of the great uh, roundups and, and uh, networks of, of arrests in this field, and they just say, man, it just doesn't hit the light of day. It just goes away. Because there is so much influence. A lot of these pedophiles are very connected, they're very wealthy, and they own a lot of the media, and uh, things just get swept under the rug. And I have decided to go independent. We were supposed to have a television series to kind of show this two years ago, and it keeps not happening because uh, those involved in the media apparently uh, don't want to still see this come to life. So my heart breaks when I imagine the, the visual of what I'm learning from my friends that are deep into these investigations and saying, you know, Craig, this is turning out, they're revealing itself to be the front lines between good and evil in the United States. This is really kind of what um, my friends are seeing as the, the front lines of the fight for the soul of our nation, because it's so sick and so depraved what they're learning with these arrests and the bus and what they're finding. Uh, it's it's hard for us to believe as decent, you know, morally decent citizens, what's going on. And, and well, I don't mean to interrupt you after my 10 minute intro. I should also add, you're also a veteran federal law enforcement officer, and we probably can't even get into all those classified areas you've been involved in. So you have federal law enforcement connections. You have also, obviously, in the CIA, Navy SEALs, everything. You've been in it, all of it. And so the point is, you, this is what you're getting back from everybody. And we see it in the news. 3,000-plus reported pedophiles arrested, many times with the sex slaves, and then it goes totally dark. That, that shows total proof, the total control. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's being suppressed, and that's where I think the fight really is, is in, in shining the light on it. I always say sunlight is the best antiseptic for corruption. And that is exactly what's needed here. That's what the doctor ordered. That's what I feel like I can do with my background and my connections. Man, I've got a team with uh, senior veterans from virtually every intelligence and law enforcement agency out there, as well as the, the highest end of counterterrorism for, for operators. So we can do a lot of good with this. And it's really all about for, for our organization. And again, let's talk about what you just launched today, vetsforchildrescue.org. Uh, I know that, that, that just across uh, the patriots that are in law enforcement, but also in, in the military, you name it, and also internationally, people know this is real. It keeps coming out. The British the police chiefs come out and say the whole government's run by pedophiles, basically, in the U.K. Uh, I mean, most of the dominant positions. They keep catching them in Europe in huge rings, and then it gets covered up. And then I've talked to a lot of people. They say, Alex, don't you get it? They're not just mad at Trump about trying to return power to America and make us great again. It's the pedophilia. That's And it's true. When you hit on this, all hell breaks loose. For myself, you, um, and again, we're not trying to intimidate people for these groups. It's just people need to understand the old saying, World War II bomber pilots, as you know, Craig, you're over the target, you're getting the flag. I am learning, Alex, is that some of the biggest names, families, and foundations anywhere um, are complicit in this. It's, it's part of their culture. It's a ritualistic thing that uh, apparently they feel like they get power from doing these un, unspeakable, unthinkable things to, to infants. I, I just I can't wrap my mind around it. I've seen a lot, Alex, but this seems to be the worst. And whatever it is, uh, we're, we're going to expose it. We're going we're gonna to show the people. A lot of people are advising me, Craig, you can't you can't show this. American public can't can't stand it. They can't, you know, they can't deal with it. And I'm thinking, man, <laughs> it's happening. We we as a nation have to be at least strong enough. If these children can endure this, can't we pay enough attention to help correct it? I mean, it, that's the least we can do. Is at least tune in long enough to go, hey, look, all right, this is this is unacceptable. We can group together. We can unite to, to create stronger legislation against this, not to allow it to be normalized and say that it's okay, because it's not okay for the infant that's, that's tortured or murdered. It's not okay for the, the child whose, whose emotions are, are shattered, their psyche is just absolutely devastated, traumatized, and, and a lot of times they never recover, they're never right, even if they survive it physically. It's unthinkable. It, it is evil. The guy 
that are in the, on the closest part to the investigation, Alex, are calling it evil just due to how destructive and how deranged and perverse it is. And my concern is how pervasive it is, how many are involved and how wide it goes. And I think the longer, in my opinion, the longer it stays quiet, the longer these perverts and predators who are attacking the soul of our nation and our kids are allowed to, 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 to enjoy the, the veil of, of secrecy, the, 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 the more depraved and the larger this this thing grows, this, this beast. So I think we've got to unrip the, the lid off of it, shine some sunlight on it in order to create a non-permissive environment for this in the future. That's right, because there's nothing they censor more than us even trying to, sh I mean, that, that KTLA article where they admit kids found in cages and all this and, and, and you know, 474 arrested and all the rest of it. And the police finally doing this because they've got the green light from the president, you know, that at least they're gonna get some backing. Meanwhile, we try to share that on Facebook. They won't let us do it. And, and, he, and I guess we talked a few weeks ago at dinner. We haven't really talked since then or whatever it was a week and a half ago. I, I guess not put words in your mouth. That's what finally pushed you over the line, pissing you off that you'd try to even share links and they'd ban you. And then personally seeing stuff going on in your town, how do folks get that past the censors? How do they support you? And what are you guys planning to do with the support? Well, uh, first of all, because they can't really see it on the screen, I want them to know that the, the, the website is Vets, B E T S, and the number four. And then the, world, the words childrescue.org. So Vets, four, the number four, childrescue.org. They can go there. There's a way to donate. We're starting a nonprofit organization to do this independently so that we can get past the gatekeepers who would tell us no and suppress what we're doing. And before we can get all the bureaucratic red tape done of, of, of processing the, the nonprofit order, you're planning to expose pedophilia of, rings in a docu series by Spec Ops Vets. And uh, there's a lot more, obviously, behind that. The goal is a quarter million dollars. We, people listening, are billionaires. They should just give it right now. Hell, I'm going to make a donation because I know you guys are for real. Uh, this is already going behind the scenes. This is how we're going to bring them down with what you're doing and so many others are doing. This is amazing. Vets4childrescue.org. Folks, you want us to do something, you keep calling for us to do something, we're doing it. Craig has big careers, t big TV shows on Discovery and History and all these other, you know, all clothing lines, everything else. And he's going into the fray, folks, you know, front and center, one of the most famous Navy SEALs out there, taking them on. And believe me, they are crapping their drawers right now. A lot of their stuff's happening behind the scenes as well. Look, I've gone from, like, you know, being concerned about this to totally obsessed with it. This, they are, they are running scared. And what do you think happened to you carrying one of the big crowdsourcing sites when, when a celebrity known veteran super patriot with two TV shows on national cable cannot do a fundraiser for children being, uh, for investigations into pedophilia? Yeah, so, so it doesn't look good, does it? Um, you know, uh, again, they, they've yet to contact me back and answer my question on, on what's wrong there. What, what, what violation are they claiming? I don't even think that they can come up with a violation that, that, that they're, they're hanging their hat on. Uh, this is really, really, but, you know, we knew this would be an uphill battle and a, and a hard fight, but boy, it starts straight out of the gate. They, they don't want this out there. And so it's, it's disgusting to me if this is part of it, if it's not just a technical glitch, this is pretty, uh, pretty sickening to see that whoever at you caring, um, has a problem with us, you know, exposing pedophilia. So is, is you caring involved? Are they complicit? We have no way of knowing. Um, until they get back to us and articulate what what sort of uh, um, violation they're they're claiming, because I don't I can't imagine for the life of me what it, what it would be. This is as straightforward as it gets. This is people watching everything we do in live time trying to stop Trump. Well, uh, it would appear that way. You know, I'm a federal criminal investigator, and I, I'm inclined to wait uh, and sort through the facts and 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 come to my conclusion based upon that. But all I can say is, meanwhile, it doesn't look good until they'll come up with an answer. They're they're claiming a, a their terms of service uh, have been violated. What is that violation? We need that right now because they're saying a federal a of, officer, former knows. top Navy SEAL. National TV show host and a guy that saved the rhinos is not allowed to raise money to investigate pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Americans need to be um, asking some hard questions. What is what is this 
uh, claimed a violation. Well, Craig, what, I'm going to tell you what's about to happen. Be. I've already experienced it. They've tried financial stuff. I can feel it in my gut. They think we're cowards. They're about to go physical. We all need to be on absolute alert right now. I can feel it. This is destiny. I think we're about to beat them. And I'm not just saying that. I don't ever say that on air. I am feeling a moment right now in my gut that I believe we've crossed the threshold with your courage and all our listeners' courage. I believe we're crossing a threshold that if we just stay, stay strong, hold fast, those kids are crying out to God to be saved. And we're doing that. We don't want to be saviors. We're not. It's got to be done. And so as men, we can't be intimidated by this. We have to ask God to give us a guidance to have victory. Uh, Craig, go ahead. I'm sorry. Alex, let me share this. Let me share this. The reason I, I went with uh, you care is because GoFundMe, when I was wrapping up the campaign with GoFundMe, it seized up. They locked up my account before I was even finished writing it up. And, and attempted to launch they've it. got ai that's what i said they've got everybody they've got ai watching what you wrote yeah that was my yeah. question is why didn't you use gofundme and that that's well, well, let's let him elaborate i'm sorry i interrupted uh, just quickly. let me just paint the picture real quick i was in the middle of writing it up and never even i wasn't even going to launch it for a few more days so i was i was in the middle of writing it up and then a uh, notice popped up saying hey your account has been um locked or something to that effect and pending further uh, review for three days. And I'm like, well, three days? I've, I've, I've done these kind of things before. And if they have a question, there's an instant help chat that pops up and they, and they help no, you work through pedophilia, it. Pedophilia, any of this is shut down. It's, Craig, I smell weakness. I don't just have to be confident. When I feel weak, I'll admit it. I feel confidence right now. Well, you know, pedophilia cannot, it can never be a, protect, a protected um, group or practice because you have an unwilling victim it's not something no between consent. consenting adults the the child or the infant has no ability to escape or say no so that's what makes this so so bad yeah. all right well, yeah we, we can't be deterred we cannot be deterred I mean, this is just the first foot placed on that battlefield so yeah they're going to resist but we're, we we got to beat them and uh but doesn't it show uh, how fast the they hit us that they're scared say again doesn't it show how fast they hit us that they're scared I, oh yeah, yeah. It's it, I smell fear, uh, like a wolf moving in for the kill. I smell fear, man. So, yeah, we're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep. Uh, we're just getting started, Alex. So this is this is par for the course. Here we go. We're coming. Well, you're a humble guy, but we're, I'm skipping the break. Just a few more minutes of like recapping what we talked about hours ago. They banned your you caring, trying to do money as a Discovery Channel, History Channel, you know, guy that does shows. You're not allowed to cover sex trafficking. Bad stuff. Looks bad on you caring. Boy, they are looking. I, I still am waiting for a phone call right now. I'm waiting for them to, to respond, and they are not. They cannot articulate what their claimed discrepancy is. So uh, that only leaves us with an assumption to make about their actions, which looks very, very poor. Looks very bad. This is, just, this is a straightforward situation. There should be no... No discrepancy. And if it is, they should be able to come right out with it. Oh, yeah. You know, you made a typo or this needs to happen or that. We could, you know, if they'd articulate what their discrepancy claim is, we could we could address that and move on. What are, you know, I, right now I'm wondering what is you caring hiding from? What are they hiding from that they can't answer the question? They're, they're claiming there's a discrepancy and we're saying, let us know what that is. We'll satisfy that and rage on. How's that work? If $50,000 an hour got donated, they shut it off because they could see it going viral. Facebook, Twitter, they all got scared. It was all over the place. Oh, my God. Millions were about to come in to expose pedophilia as Trump is exposing it. So then it triggers and they block you. Does the money people donated go back to them? Or does the 10000 here's my little 10000 does, does that go to you? Or what happens? If I don't know. I, I didn't anticipate them just shutting down the thing after people had already donated. So they'd better give those back to the to the don uh, the people that donated it or you caring would, would sure. be, uh, so, so are you going to put a PO box that, how, so. how do people register mail so there's a record give money to vets for child rescue.org how do they do it right now well um i'd, I'd sent in an email or a, a, a physical mailing address but i i'd rather not have that on the air right now so we're no, gonna I understand we, we weren't ready for that I know. I just, we got to get this money in but now i know for out. sure I'll, I'll hell i'll sell my house i'll I, I, I mean, actually, I want to give everything I've got to this. I, I realize now.
I'm sure we'll be updating the article so they can put that information there where, where people can fund this as well as what we finally hear from you caring. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's hold you caring accountable for, for this, their claim. Let's, let's find out what their answer is. Remember two hours ago, them, Craig, or an hour and a half ago, we were talking and I said, we're censored in live time and you are too. What, what does this say to you as a, any terrorism federal officer? I mean, what does this tell you? Well, you know, I think there's a perfect meme for it. It shows a B-17 with flak, you know, exploding in the air all around it. And it says, hey, if you're taking flak, you know, you're over the target. My fellow Info Warriors, I am very excited to be able to announce to you the introduction at InfoWarsLife.com of a new way to save time and money when you stock up on InfoWars Life formulations like Survival Shield X2 and Super Male Vitality. Just go to InfoWarsLife.com today, select your favorite product, click on Auto Ship before adding to cart, and choose how often you want us to send you another order. Every time you choose Auto Ship at InfoWarsLife.com, you get 10% off and you you won't have to worry about running out and having to reorder next time. And of course, you can cancel with one click anytime. As you know, I'm all about the idea of a 360 win. And the new auto ship feature at InfoWarsLife.com is a sure win for everybody. A win for liberty, a win for health, and a win when it comes to big savings. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today and save 10% on your next InfoWars Life order by selecting auto ship at checkout. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.